Hey friends, welcome to the Pet Squad Rescue Clinic. I'm Dr. Hart. Here at the clinic, our pet squad goes out and rescues all kinds of animals, like dogs and cats. Do you know what dogs say? That's it. We bring the rescued animals back here to give them a checkup and help their hearts know how to do what's right. Would all of you like to be part of the pet squad with me? Great, we need all the paws we can get to help the animals we meet. Speaking of paws, let's warm them up by singing a fun song. Won't you come along? It's time to have some fun. When we're on the pet squad, we can help anyone. Let's have a dog on good old time. We'll do some rescuing. Won't you come along with me? God made the animals that we'll see. Put up your paws and pretend to be a kitty. God made the animals that we'll see. Wiggle your tail and pretend to be a puppy. God made the animals that we'll see Jump around and pretend to be a frog Won't you come along? It's time to have some fun When we're on the pet squad We can help anyone Let's have a dog on good old time We'll do some rescuing Won't you come along with me? animals that we'll see swim all around and pretend to be a fish God made the animals that we'll see flap your wings and pretend to be a bird God made the animals that we'll see hop up and down and pretend to be a bunny Won't you come along it's time to have some fun When we're on the pet squad We can help anyone Let's have a dog on good old time We'll do some rescuing Won't you come along with me?
was doggone terrific. You can rest your paws back on the ground and take a big giant breath with me. Early this morning, our pet squad rescued a new animal. Would you like to meet them? Great, I can't wait to get our new friend out of their crate. But before I do, I need to know that you can follow the two pet squad rules. Rule number one is to be kind. If you can follow rule number one, let me see all of you hold up one paw and say, be kind. Nice. To be kind, we have to be quiet and listen carefully. Now, pet squad rule number two is to be safe. If you can follow rule number two, let me see all of you hold up two paws and say, be safe. All right. To be safe, we have to keep our paws to ourselves so we don't get hurt or hurt anyone else. Let's get our paws to a safe place now. Everybody do this with me. Clap, clap, clap. Put your paws in your lap. That's it. You are officially part of the pet squad. Now the pet we rescued this morning has big googly eyes, long legs that make him hop high. He's been here before and he says ribbit, ribbit. Pet squad, do you know who it could be? You got it. This is our pal, Freddy. Freddy, we're happy to see you again. Tell us what was happening when the pet squad came to the rescue. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, hello there, Dr. Hart. I was out on the pond sitting on a lily pad when all of a sudden I saw the most delicious bug. I knew it would make the tastiest snack, but I also saw my sister, Lily, about to eat that same bug. Before Lily could get it, I hopped over and snatched it up. As I hopped away, I yelled at Lily, thanks for giving me your snack. Now Lily is really mad at me and I feel so bad for taking her snack away from her. What's a frog to do? Freddie, I'm sorry that your heart's feeling yucky because you didn't do what's right and your sister is mad at you. We all make mistakes sometimes that we can learn from. In fact, I think we have a treat around here that can help. Polly and Wally are the keepers of special treats here in the clinic. And to let them know we're ready for one, all we have to do is flap our wings and say tweet tweet. Let's all say it together. Tweet tweet. Hi there. Polly and Wally here with a treat from God's Word. God's Word? What? God's Word? That's right, Wally. Pet Squad, do you know what God's Word is? The Bible! You know it! We have a treat from God's Word that is sure to help out the furry friend we rescued. Before we can have it, we need to put on our big froggy eyes. Zoop, zoop. And we can't forget to click on our listening ears, like our bunny friends. Click, click! Now you're ready. One spring, when it was time for the kings to go off to war, King David stayed home and sent his special soldiers to war in his place. One night, David got up from bed and went up to the roof of his home to walk around. Ah, be careful, be careful. While he was up there, he saw a beautiful woman and he wanted to find out more about her. He asked a messenger to find out who she was. The messenger told him the woman's name was Bathsheba and she was the wife of a soldier named Uriah. David asked his messengers to go get her and bring her back to his home. Uh, bad idea, bad idea. You're right, Wally. You see, David wanted Bathsheba to act like his wife, but Bathsheba was married to someone else. It was wrong for David to try to take another man's wife. So David made a plan. Uh, a plan, a plan. Uriah was a soldier for the king's army. David tried to get Uriah to come home from war and spend some time with Bathsheba. But Uriah could not enjoy time at home when he knew he should be out in the battlefield. So King David had to come up with a new plan. Ah, new plan, new plan. When Uriah went back to join the soldiers, David told the leader of the army to put Uriah in the front of the battle so that he would be killed. Ah, not good, not good. David continued to do what was wrong by having Uriah killed so that he could marry Bathsheba and have a family. 
David knew that taking another man's wife and having someone killed was not what God would want. But he did it anyway. Even though he did what was wrong, God still loved him. God loves him. God loves him. God sent a man named Nathan to talk to David and help him see his sin or the wrong things he had done. When David realized how wrong his actions were, he told God he was sorry and asked God to forgive him. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. God forgave David. Then David stopped doing what was wrong and started doing what is right. God will forgive us when we do wrong things too. We can pray and tell God we're sorry and ask Him to forgive us. He will forgive us and help us know how to stop doing what's wrong and start doing what's right. And that's your treat from God's Word. Leaping lizards, what a treat from God's Word. Today's treat says, God forgives me. Let me hear everyone on the pet squad say that after me. God forgives me. Today's treat is good for all of our hearts, especially you, little Freddy. So let's gobble it up. On the count of three, grab your treat and eat, eat, eat. One, two, three. Freddy, I've got some things in my doctor's kit that can help your heart too. Whenever our hearts are feeling yucky and sorry, there are three things we need to do. Let's see, the first thing we need to do is stop and listen to our hearts. Now let's be very quiet and you can pretend to listen to your hearts while I take a listen to Freddy's. Are you ready? Shh. Well, Freddie, it sounds like your heart's sad because you knew you did the wrong thing and you stole your sister's snack. Now that we've stopped to listen to your heart, we know why it's feeling yucky. It's time to move on to number two. Pet Squad, the next thing we can do to make our hearts feel better is to check the temperature inside our mouths. Everybody open your mouths wide and then close them tight and let's check the temperature of our words that have been coming out of our mouths. Freddie, that means you too. Oh no, Freddie, it looks like the words coming out of your mouth have not been loving. You can pray and tell God that you're sorry for lying to Lily and taking her snack. Then you can tell Lily you're sorry for using words that hurt her and taking her snack. God loves you and he will forgive you. I'm sure Lily will forgive you too. Now that we've listened to our hearts and checked the temperature of our words, there's only one thing left to do. We need to put a Band-Aid on it. Pet Squad, what shape do you see on this Band-Aid? That's right, hearts make us think of love. God loves you and today's treat from God's Word said, God forgives me. Freddie, I want you to wear this love band-aid home to help remind your heart that God loves you no matter if you do what's right or if you do what's wrong. You can show God you love him by asking him to forgive you when you do wrong things. He will forgive you and he will help you do what's right. Does that make your heart feel better? It sure does. When I go back home, I'm going to tell my sister that I prayed and asked God to forgive me for lying to her and for stealing her snack. Then I'm going to ask Lily to forgive me for the same thing. And the next time I feel like doing what's wrong, I will stop and listen to my heart, then check the temperature of my words, and remember that God loves me and He will forgive me. That's it, Freddie. Sounds like your day with the Pet Squad has your heart in tip-top shape. Pet Squad, I'm so proud of you for helping fix Freddie's heart. I think we should sing a song to celebrate. No matter what I see, God sees the inside of me. The Lord is looking at my heart. You 
still love me and you want to help when you look in me i want you to see l-o-v-e love for my friends and family no matter what i see god sees the inside of me the lord is looking at my heart no matter what i see god sees the inside of me the lord is looking at my heart you see when i'm sad you see when i'm mad you still love me and you want to help when you look in me i want you to see l-o-v-e love for my friends and family no matter what i see god sees the inside of me the lord is looking That was Paw-tastic. I just love how that song said, even when we're mad or sad, God still loves us and wants to help us. Pet Squad, do you know how God helps us? God helped us by sending His Son Jesus to die for our sins so that we could be forgiven. So even when our hearts are upset and our words and actions are not kind, we know that God helps us by forgiving us through His Son Jesus. It's time to get our friend back to their family, but you can be members of the Pet Squad all week long by remembering to stop and listen to your heart, to check the temperature of your words, and remember to always love others. And that reminds me that our treat from God's word is, God forgives me. Come back next week and help us rescue more furry friends. Bye.